Number 2 I was about 10 when this happened to me. I was staying over at my friend's house and we decided to go for a walk along a walkway near his house. The walkway goes through a set of woods and it was night time so it was pretty dark apart from the lights on the main path. I had been along this path many times during the day but during the night time this was my first time. We had only been wandering down the path for 10 minutes or so when we heard a twig snap off the path to our left. We passed it off as an animal, maybe a fox or something, and so we continued walking. Soon though, another twig, it snapped on our left again. We both froze at that instant, looking into the darkness of the woods to our left. The next thing I heard, it still haunts me to this day. A very low man's voice said, You two kids all alone? At this moment, I panicked and I looked around us. I'm glad I did because I saw another man hiding in the bushes behind us. I grabbed my friend's arm and we sprinted down the path as fast as our small 10 year old legs could go. I looked behind us and now there were three figures running after us. There was something in one of the man's hands. I only caught a glimpse of it when I saw it shine and reflect off of the lights on the path. We eventually managed to make it to where the path ends and the main road begins. The people stopped chasing us after the path ended, but we still sprinted back to my friend's house and told his parents everything that had just happened. They called the police, but they never found the three men. I am never going back to that walkway ever again, and I will remember this for the rest of my life. Number one. It was an ordinary Wednesday afternoon and I had just come home from a stressful day at college. I had a shit ton of homework to do and my parents were having a go at me for what I felt was no reason. I was pissed off, so I decided to meet two of my friends, Jamie and Katie, for a nice catch up because I never really see them anymore. This was around the time of year when daylight savings kicked in and night would arise quickly, usually at around 5pm. I was very paranoid about meeting them at this time as I'm afraid of the dark. Ignoring my fears though, they rang me and said that they would meet me in this forestry place not that far from my house. The area of the woods was huge and normally I don't go there as there's really nothing to do there. It got to be around 4.30 when it started to get dark and I became a little bit scared. To get to the woods, I had to go through another forestry path, which also gave me the creeps when I was on my own. And if that wasn't enough for me, I stupidly decided to go through this small area of woods, and stupidly, I took a shortcut through the very middle of it. As I am very paranoid about my surroundings, my adrenaline kicks in and I start to run through the forest. To my surprise, the shortcut, it was blocked off and it made me shit myself as I had to run all the way back to the beginning of the path. Feeling absolutely terrified, I eventually managed to get back to the path. However, from the time I'd wasted, it was pretty much pitch black now. I chose to go around the long way through a few streets into a big area of dark wet grass. The entrance to the other forest was not far from where I was and I was on a path leading up to some houses. The path stops at this gate, but I continued onwards. My friends said that they would be on this small bridge waiting for me. To get there, going the long way, you have to take a long path that's straight for about 10 minutes of walking. As I approach the path, I can hear voices of young people at this small area where people will go on their bikes as there's a few dirt ramps there. I realized that it wasn't them, and so I continued on the path. As I'm on the path, my fear kicks in completely and I begin to wonder, what the hell am I doing? I begin to run faster than I would normally do as I just want to meet up with them so that I'm not alone anymore. I finally get to the bridge and I take a moment to catch my breath. To my fear though, no one was there. Although, I thought that there wasn't. 
I begin shouting in fear. Katie! Jamie! Is anyone there? There was no response. And what happened next? It was truly terrifying. And my only wish is that this never happens to anyone else. The bushes on the other side of the bridge, they began moving. It was dark and difficult to see, but it was clear that, horrifyingly, there was something being covered in those bushes. A black figure emerged from the bushes, and I froze in fear. I had nightmares about things like this, and all these emotions, they were kicking into me now. The figure, it stood up and just stopped in silence. It was staring at me, eye to eye. After a few minutes, I began to get a hold of myself, and I ran. I ran for my life, back to the path leading to the houses. Concentrating on getting the hell out of there, I didn't look back. That is, not until a few seconds later, where I found myself in probably one of the most scariest situations I've ever been in in my life. The man, he was chasing me, and he wasn't far away now, literally only a few meters from me. Shocked by this, I felt as if someone had muted me, so I couldn't even scream. While I was sprinting, it just felt like it went on and on for the longest time, but thankfully and eventually, a streetlight, it emerged where the gate was. I rushed over to the gate and I just ran back onto the streets, but the figure, it was long gone. And honestly, at that moment, I felt like I was about to pass out. What happened to me that night was truly a living nightmare. And still to this day, no one really knows about it as I've moved on from it. Even though it doesn't bother me anymore, flashbacks still arise and I still wonder why the fuck I decided to go into that forest. G'day mates, it's Bee Buster here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. And you know, once when I was a kid, there was this particular part of the woods I lived near that I didn't want to walk through. But unfortunately, I was forced to. <laughs> Get it? Forced to? <laughs> okay, all right, that wasn't the best one yet. I can't admit it. That was, I'm stretching things here a little bit guys. <laughs> Uh, thanks again to the Hive members that bravely shared their story for us all here, and I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, for the chance to have your story feature in a video, you can send your story to my email which is in the description below. And as always, keep them coming guys, as this channel relies upon your stories to continue. Also guys, please do me a favour and just state in your email what your story is about in the description, and also provide me with a short written statement of consent, just so that I can be above board with everything. And please remember to tell me in the email if you would like to remain anonymous, and please change any names if you don't want particular names to be shared. As always guys, it would be awesome if you could like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates throughout the week. You can also catch me on my second channel, all of which have links in the description below. Thanks again for always tuning in guys, and for all the love and support, and I'll see you mates in the next one.